Stop making boring samples. Most samples I hear on a day to day are boring. I know, right? We've all heard it before that simplicity is key, but what most of you guys don't understand is that simplicity does not mean only having two layers in your sample. Simplicity means having a simple melodic idea that repeats over and over again. So for example, a sample with 10 layers will still be simple enough for it to get placed or whatever you want to do with it. So if you take this sample, for example, and we take out this instance, this instance, and this instance, let's play it. Don't get me wrong, it's still fire, but this instance, for example, it's not that present in the whole sample, it's just a background layer. This is what the whole sample sounds together for you to understand. Just here the contrast is very big and a lot of you guys a lot of samples i hear just have these three and don't get me wrong i've been doing the same shit for years but my samples truly like improved to the next level when i started adding more stuff and to be honest all producers i know that i've worked with in person on samples they even add way more than me so every sample at least has like 10 instances 10 layers and this one for example only has six producers i worked with here in thailand for example are further ahead than me or around the same spot there's something they're doing that i'm not doing right now your sample still will be boring if you make the same stuff than everybody else i used to be in this trap for the longest time like two years ago I will be making those basic 4PF, those basic pain melodies with the basic elements that everyone else uses. They just sounded the same as everyone else's loops and no wonder I wasn't getting placements back then because everyone has heard it all the time. And it's the same with stimuli, the more you hear of it, the less impactful it is. So the more people that do those kind of samples and the more you hear those kind of samples, the less fire you would bind them in the end. So what can we do to counteract that? Pretty simple. Once I started developing my own style, meaning I started experimenting with certain effects, certain effect chains, certain VSTs that I use and not a lot of people use, I've developed my own little kind of repertoire of things that only I do. And that just has developed my sound a little bit more, made me more unique. At the same time, there are still rules you have to follow or certain bass notes or chord progressions to get to a certain sound. But the whole sound selection, the whole mixing, all the effects, that's what's up to you. And that's where you can really make a difference. And one rule I always follow up to this day is just experiment once a day. Once a day when making a sample, I just do something weird something I haven't done in a long time or something I've never done before. I use stock plugins, I use stock effects, I use weird effects, I use weird effect chains. And just to get to a point where I experiment with new things every single day. Some of that might be shit and doesn't sound good, but that's totally okay, bro. Just take the few things that you like, that you fuck with and use them again. After a while, you will have your certain techniques, certain tricks you do, and that will be your own unique sample making process. If you want me to make a video where I critique and improve your samples, just let me know in the comments and we'll get it set up. See you tomorrow.